bring in Dana Lash, nationally syndicated radio talk show host. Dana, good morning. Thanks very much for being here. So good yesterday, morning. there was good a morning. summit with a Kim. It just wasn't Kim Jong-un. It was Kim Kardashian. She was at the White House. Here's what the president tweeted about their meeting. He said, great meeting with Kim Kardashian today. Talked about prison reform and sentencing. Uh, but it, the media took a sideways view of it, Dana. We're going to play two clips. Jim Acosta of CNN likes being on TV. This is what he said about Kim Kardashian's visit at the White House. Listen. Forget about the fact that Kim Kardashian is here at the White House today <laughs> and what planet that is uh, anything resembling normal, because it's not. Uh, she shouldn't be here talking about prison reform. It's very nice that she is here, but that, that's not a serious thing to, to have happened here at the White House. She shouldn't be there. He was singing a different tune in 2015, and thanks to the magic of videotape, this is Jim Acosta talking about John Legend when Obama was president. I'm going to push the president to... Uh, get more involved in uh, criminal justice reform. I'm going to suggest uh, some ideas that we think could help uh, improve the situation. If you change your mind about running for office, mm -hmm. give CNN the scoop. I will. Right. I will. A little bit of different tune there, Dana. Yeah, it's a huge, it's a hugely different tune, hugely, bigly, because this is Jim Acosta. Jim Acosta is a partisan. He doesn't hide the fact that he's a partisan. I just wish that people would stop uh, unnecessarily hammering the administration, even on things they know they agree on or things that they know aren't that big of a deal, but they do it anyway because it's Trump. And this idea, well, she shouldn't be there. I can't believe he actually said those words. Every single person in the United States, be they a famous person or not, has the right, and they have, if they, if they, if they can, they can meet with the president. They can go to Washington, D.C. That's what makes the United States different from Britain is because we don't have like a special nobility class here. <laughs> you don't have to be a special person to engage in policy discussion, whether you're John Legend mm -hmm. or Kim Kardashian. But it's so fascinating how much they gave, how big of a pass they gave to the previous administration just because it was Barack right. Obama and Democrats as opposed to Trump and Republicans. I mean, we have a list of all these celebrities that have come to the White House in the past. It was celebrity heaven. No one had a, a problem with yes. know, DiCaprio, uh, Tiger Woods, Beyonce, who's married to Jay-Z, yes. who's texts with they the president on a daily basis. In the, in the White House. Yeah, I mean, just to say, and the multiple visits. So I just thought that was commonplace. You know, Sylvester Stallone wanted Jack Johnson to get a pardon. She know He knows the president, picked up the phone. That's just, that's part of it. And the president's got a relationship with right. Jay-Z. He's going to be able to go back and forth and maybe get some influence there. That's a part of it. You can't have it both yeah. ways. No, you can't. Beyonce was a huge figure in the previous administration. I mean, how many times did they visit the White House? And, and how many times did she partner up with the First Lady on a number of, of a different initiatives? And then, you know, you had the Jazz Nights at the White House, the Blues Nights at the White House. You had U2 that was at the White House. I mean, so it, this, this has happened. That the previous administration was the celebrity administration. It was the Hollywood administration. They loved and they bragged about the fact that they were so close to celebrities. Where was Jim Acosta's whining then? Exactly. Well, let's talk about Melania, too. The media is um, going after Melania for not being out in public since the middle of May. Where is she? Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, she just had surgery. This is These are some of the headlines. Time magazine mm -hmm. says Melania Trump tweets she's feeling great. She hasn't been seen publicly in weeks. CNN says Melania Trump hasn't appeared in public for 20 days. Mercury News missing Melania Trump. The first lady tweets she's feeling great, but mystery remains. What are your thoughts? Yeah, that's, I mean, she's had surgery. The White House was very forthright about the procedure that she had done. They were very forthright about how she was going to recover and where she was going to recover. I mean, we're not at Hillary Clinton levels of conspiracy with our health here. So I think that the media needs to maybe perhaps chill out a little bit. I mean, they, I mean she's on Twitter. She's still tweeting. Mm -hmm. she's, she's still active. In fact, I think she responded to the media just this she morning. Did. But again, it's the hypocrisy. This is why conservatives get so aggravated. They get aggravated at media hypocrisy because Hillary Clinton, if she falls down in the street and leaves a shoe behind and conservatives ask questions about it, they're called conspiracy theorists and fear mongers and that they're that they're attacking Hillary Clinton and that we're sexist. But then with something like this, the media is hounding Melania Trump. I mean, she's not a hostage. She's the first lady. She had a procedure done. They were open about it. Lay off. She tweeted about it. She said, I see the media is working overtime speculating where I am, what I'm doing. Rest assured, yes. I'm here at the White House with my family, feeling great, working hard on behalf of children and the American people. Yes, exactly. The, the, and here is legacy media that's once again trying to find a conspiracy where there is none. If they only were this attentive during the previous administrations, I would have loved to have seen media work this hard then.
Yeah. Well, yeah. and even if it what if even if she didn't want to come out, is it anyone's business what she's doing? I mean, she's not the president. Well, she's not. I mean, you're you're absolutely right, Ainsley. She's not. And but even then, they've been entirely forthright about it. Uh, they've been they've they've said exactly what it is that she had done and how she was going to recover. And I mean, it's amazing that the media is so yeah. obsessed with this. Are they going to send Bob Mueller after Melania Trump? Is that what's is that what's going to happen next? Is Bob Mueller going to add this to his to his witch hunt list? They might as well toss it in. Yeah. Uh, to the uh, hey, Dana Lash. Thanks so much. I mean, at this point, right, everything's fair game. <laughs> yeah. Not? Thank yeah. you guys so thanks, much. Dana. Have Thank a good you. week.